Hi folks, Ryan Tischer here. I'm going to spend two minutes talking about how we can automatically generate IPv6 host addresses using EUI64. EUI64 is a unique identifier that's 64 bits in length, and why it's important to us when we think about IPv6 is that we can use it to, again, automatically generate a host address using the Ethernet MAC address. You may say to yourself, well, the Ethernet MAC address is only 48 bits long. How do we get to 64? What we're going to do is we're going to add FFFE into the middle of the MAC address to make it all 64 bits that we need. The nice thing about EUI64 addresses is that it's automagic. The system or router or switch will do it for you. Since I'm a propeller head, and if you're watching this video, you're probably a propeller head, we want to know more. We want, we want to know how it gets there. So how we get there is basically in two steps. Again, the first thing we do is we add FFFE after the first three bytes of the MAC address, basically right in the middle. And the second thing we do is we invert the U bit, which is the seventh bit of the MAC address. Let's see a quick example. So here's my ASA 5510 running 8.4 code. I've got a show interface Ethernet 02 here, and we can see that my MAC address last line on the on the output is 0013C480A3B4. Next screen is my actual configuration on that interface. So this is a dual stack sort of configuration. So I have an IPv4 address, and I also have an IPv6 address. What's interesting about this configuration is that all I did for my IPv6 address is I put the network portion in, which I blocked out for my own safety and security, followed by the keyword EUI64. Again, this is going to tell the router, or the ASA in this case, that it should generate the last or the host portion of my uh, address for me. The output, as seen in show IPv6, show IPv6 interface, is my IPv6 host address, which is 213C4FFFE80A3B4. So, in review, how did we get there? My MAC address originally, first line there, I won't read it again. Then I added FFFE to the middle, pretty simple to figure out. Then, the second step, again, I inverted the U bit, which is the seventh bit. In this case, my the first two uh, bytes, or the first bit, excuse me, of my MAC address was 00, so that's very easy. I just flipped the seventh zero to a one, I got a two. And my new IPv6 address is 0213C4FFFE80A3B4. Again, I've got the show IPv6 interface command out here to verify my math, to make sure that I was right, and of course, since IPv6 addressing allows us to drop leading zeros and leading zeros only, uh, my output shows a little bit different than, than um, what we figured out, but again, it's basically the same thing. Final note on EUI64, IPv6 addresses are 128 bits long. We know that already. EUI64 addresses are 64 bits long. This leaves us only 64 bits for the network. What this means to you, if you choose to use EUI64 addressing, all subnets should be at least 64 bits. Uh, at least as slash 64, even point to points. Any questions, please ask them in the comments section, and thanks a bunch for your time.